Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the solutions of the CGL 2020 13th August paper afternoon session. Okay, this is second shift paper it is. So let's begin the, with the questions. Here is the first question, what it is saying? It's saying that if 16x square plus y square is equals to 48, xy value is 2, they are asking for the value of 64x cube plus y cube and options are given. See this, from this expression, first expression, we will get the value of 4x plus y. How we will get it? If we will write down this one as 4x plus y square, means we have added what? 2 into 4x into y we have added. Okay, both the sides. This side also we have added 2 into 4x into y. This left hand side will become 4x plus y whole square and this side it will become 48 plus 2 into 4 is 8 and 8 into 2 xy value is 2. So 8 into 2 is 16. If you see properly, this is actually getting 64. So 4x plus y, you got how much? 8. Now let's see the value of this one. This one we can write it as 4x plus y whole cube minus 3 into 4x into y into 4x plus y. Okay, right hand side. So this one will become 8 cube minus 3 into 4 is 12. xy is given 2 and 4x plus y is how much? 8. So 8 cube, we have how much? You can say, sir, 512 we are having minus. If you multiply this 8 and 2, you will get 16. 16 into 12 will give you 192. When you will subtract it, you will get 320, which is given in the option number 1. Moving to the next question, here is the question number 2. What this question that ratio of the average production of all the flavors in 2012 to the difference of 2 means, first of all, we have to get the average production of all the flavors in 2012. If you see properly, this is 50, this is 50, this is 65. Average you want, so 50, 50, 50, you take it average, plus how much deviation this 65 number is giving? You can say, sir, 15 number is giving. So average is going to be what? 50 plus 15 deviation divided in by 3. So this one is going to be 55. So the numerator part is actually 55. Now, second part, the denominator part is what it is. The difference of the average production of flavor A in 2012, 13 and 14. See the 12, 13 and 14 A part, right? A is blue color, 50 here, 45 here and 75 here. 75 and 45 you will add, you will get 120 plus 50. It is 170 is the total for average will divide by 3 minus the average production of flavor C in 2012, 13 and 14. So C, you see it 65 here, 70 here and 80 here. So 80 and 70, 150 plus 65, it is going to be 216 divided by 3. They are talking about the difference. So we will see the difference 215. It is 215 minus 170, you will, give, you will get 45 divided by 3 and numerator is 55. This one. We can cancel by 15 times. So 11 fives are 55 and 3 fives are 15. So 11 is to 3 is going to be your answer for this question number 2. Here is the question number 3. It's saying that x minus 1 by x is 5. Find the value of one expression is given. If you see here, x power 6, x cube and 1 is there. So we'll divide numerator. Denominator is also x power 6 plus 7x cube minus 1. We'll divide each term by x cube, you will get here x cube, minus 1 will become minus 1 by x cube and then minus 5 will come divided by x power 6 will become x cube, minus 1 will become minus 1 by x cube and 7 x cube will become divided by, when you will divide by x cube, you will get plus 7. So we need the value of q minus 1 by x cube and you are given with the value of x minus 1 by x. If this value assume that a x cube minus 1 by x cube, we know this thing, what it becomes, it is becoming a cube plus 3 times of a. So when you will put the value 5 cube plus 3 into 5, you will get 125 plus 15, 140. So numerator is going to be 140 minus 5, denominator is going to be 140 plus 7. Denominator, if you check it, 147. So a multiple, a factor of 147, 
and 135. When you divide by 3, you will get 45 here. You divide by 3, you will get 49 here, which is given in the option number 1 for the question number 3. Moving to next question, what this question is saying, if x minus y is 11, 1 upon x minus 1 upon y is 11 by 24, they are asking for the value of x cube minus y cube plus x square y square. We can write this x cube minus y cube as what x minus y whole cube, right? A, a minus b whole cube formula we will apply. So minus 3ab will become opposite side, it will become 3xy into x minus y. And the last term is nothing but xy whole square. Then basically we need the value of xy and x minus y. x minus y is given, xy we want. We can simplify the second expression, y minus x upon xy, it will become how much? 11 by 24. See x minus y is 11, so y minus x will become minus of 11 by xy is equals to 11 by 24. When you will simplify 11 will get cancelled and xy will be nothing but minus of 24. This value we need to put it here. x minus y means 11 cube plus 3 into xy is how much? 3 into minus 24 into x minus y is 11 plus xy whole square means minus 24 whole square. When you will solve further 11 cube is coming 1331. This number is going to be into 24 is 72. 72 into 11 will give you 792. And this number is 576. To subtract 576 from 792, okay, a negative number will be there. So this is 6. So last digit is 1331 minus 6. Okay, 9 minus 8 minus 1 is 1. So here it will be 1. If you see, 7 minus 5 is 2. So 216, we have to subtract it. When you will solve it, 5, 2, last two digits, sorry, 3 minus, 2 minus 1 will be 1. So 13 minus 2 is 11. 1115 is going to be your answer. From the Once you got the 15 last digit, you can hit the answer and you can move ahead for, with the next question. Question number 5 is saying, the length of the rectangle is increased to its 3 times, breadth is decreased to its half, find the ratio of the area of the given rectangle to the area of the new rectangle. Length is changing, breadth is changing, original value to new value, right? Length is becoming 3 times, so you can say that 1 is becoming 3, breadth is changing to half, means 1 is becoming to half. Okay, You could have written in the terms of x also, x and y also, length and breadth, you will get the same overall answer same. So original area by new area, we can write original area is length into breadth means one into one and new area is going to be three into one by two. And you will solve it, you will get two by three, which is given in the option number two. Okay, in place of one and uh, one and three, you can use here x, three x, okay, original value and new value, breadth y and y by two. If you again find out, in the manner uh, in the terms of x and y you will get the same answer x into y and here 3x into y by 2 okay x and y are useless here they will cancel and this one will become 2 by 3 so this way also you can get the answer moving to next question number 6 what this question is saying 2 cos square theta is equal to 3 sin theta right theta lies between 0 to 90 degree so acute angle it is and they are asking some expression if we put here a value, okay, theta, let's say 30 degree, right? So cos 30, we know that it is root 3 by 2, square will give you 3 by 4. And right hand side, if you see it, sine 30 is 1 by 2. When you will solve it, you are saying that you are saying what 3 by 2, 3 by 2 equal, means theta is equal to 30 degree is a value which satisfies this expression. So we'll put this value here, secant 30 will become how much? Since cos 30, is root 3 by 2. So this one will become 4 by 3. The square value is there. 2 by root 3 square is 4 by 3. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So square will be 1 by 3 plus cos 30 we want. So cos 30 is root 3 by 2 square will give you 3 by 4. 4 minus 1 will give you 3. 3, minus 3 by 3 will be 1 plus 3 by 4. This one is nothing but 7 by 4, which is given in the option number 2. Moving to next question number seven, what this question is saying. In a circle with center O, AD is a diameter, AC is a chord, point B is on AC. So chord, okay, chord is having a point B such that OB is equal to seven centimeter.
further it is saying that angle oba is equal to 60 degree and doc angle is 60 degree both angles are given 60 degree find the length of bc in centimeter if we draw the diagram for this question okay so new question little bit so see this let's say there is a circle here in this circle we are having a diameter what is this diameter ad so this is the ad part and there is a chord here ac so let's say this is the chord ac then angle cod is doc is 90 degree let's say o is the center okay center is given here this angle is given 60 degree okay then b is a point on ac so let's say this is b such that angle oba is 60 degree so here we'll draw this angle let's say 60 degree here okay if you see this chord cd at the center it is making angle 60 degree so at the perimeter it will angle how much angle it will make you will see sir 30 degree this is 60 this is 60 this is 30 this is the overall diagram for this question if you see here this angle o b o a angle automatically it will become 90 degree some angle property of the triangle right so this is 60 degree this is 90 degree 30 degree so what will be this angle you will say sir this is going to be 120 degree now here is the observation that 90 is here 60 is here so this angle is is going to be 30 degree okay and this is a 60 degree right exterior angle if one interior angle is 30 or you could have applied the angle sum property in this triangle boc in triangle boc so this angle is also going to be 30 degree so in triangle boc what we have observed angle boc is equal to angle bco is equals to 30 degree if sides angles are equal we can say that sides are also going to be equal means bc is equals to going equal to ob and ob is given 7 cm so the answer for this question will be obviously 7 cm moving to next question eighth question what it is saying a shopkeeper sold two articles for 10591 each on one he gained 19% on the second he lost 11% okay so the selling price is same so if i say that cp1 in the cp1 is getting 19% means 119% 119 value by 100 of cp1 it is going to be 11% loss means 89 by 100 right when you will take the ratio of cp1 and cp2 cost price ratio you will get here what 89 and 11 190 right this is a ratio if you see properly this value is near by to 10000 right so what we will do let's assume that this is zero and zero okay automatically these are going to be your cost price for this question cost price first article is uh, cost price is 8900 second article cost price is 11900 once you will sell this article at 19% profit this article at 11% profit uh, loss then only your uh, selling price is going to be same so if we see here cost price total cp right total cp is going to be what addition of this one two zeros at the end 9918 9, right 11 and 1 11 and 8 19 and 1 20 so cost price is 20800 total selling price means you have to double this value because two articles are getting sold so you will get how much 9 1 uh, 1 1 will become 2 9 2 are 18 this is 5 2 za 10 And eleven, and this is twenty-one. So from twenty-one thousand one hundred eighty-two, you have to subtract this cost price. Obviously, there is a profit here, so loss options will be first cancelled. If you see properly, what is the difference here? From twenty-one thousand, this is two hundred less, and from twenty-one thousand, this is one hundred eighty-two more. So if you want profit percent, basically you are getting a profit percent of three hundred eighty rupees, three hundred eighty-two on the cost price of twenty thousand eight hundred. In two hundred percent, you will do. You will get the cost price. Uh, sorry, you will get the profit percent. Now, the second profit percent is five percent. So five percent of twenty thousand eight hundred. It is obviously going to like if we see twenty thousand eight hundred. Right, it is going to be five uh, some value near to thousand rupees. Right. So this value is three hundred eighty two. Right. If we see one percent of two twenty thousand eight hundred, it is two hundred eight. So little more than one percent and 
two percent will be four hundred sixteen rupees. So less than two percent. So the answer is only one option, which is there between one and two percent. That is first option. You don't need to divide it. Options are very far here. Moving to next question, question number nine. The question is saying that an article should be sold an article for one seventy six after giving a discount of twelve percent on its mark price. We always give the discount on the mark price. Means whatever mark price was there on twelve percent profit means eighty eight percent value of the mark price is one hundred seventy six. There is a direct relation here. What is this double, right? So mark price we can clearly say that it is going to be two hundred rupees. Had he not had she not given any discount. C would have earned a profit of fifteen percent. Means when the person will sell the article at this mark price, right? C will gain a profit of twenty five percent. This twenty five percent, we know this is what one by four. So on one on four rupees, one rupees profit is is there, right? So this value is how much? Selling price is five. Five is two hundred. You need to find out the value of four. This one will become two hundred divided by four into divided by five into four. When you will solve it, you will get. 116. This one will cancel 40 times. So 116, 160 rupees. That is going to be the cost price for the article. <clears throat> Moving to tenth number question. What this question is saying? In a class of 90 students, 60 percent are girls. Rest are boys. Average marks of boys are 63. Girls are 70. What is the average marks of the whole class? You can solve this question by basic also, or you can solve the question by allegation also. So first, I'll show you with the basic solution. Sixty percent are girls, so girls and boys. Sixty percent means three by five. So out of five, three unit is three numbers are girls, and two unit will be boys. The average of boys are sixty-three, so average is here sixty-three, and average of girls is seventy. So if you want overall average, right? Average of the class. You need to multiply the number of students into the average marks. So three into seventy will give you two hundred ten. Plus two into sixty three will give you one hundred twenty six divided by total number of students are how many five. This ninety students is a useless thing here. When you will solve it, you will get three hundred thirty six divided by five. Solve it, you will get six five or thirty. Thirty six is there seven and then point. So sixty-seven point two is going to be your answer. In allegation, if you want to apply, you can write here girls. One side you can write on boys. Girls are in sixty percent means three on three is to two ratio of girls and boys are there. Girls are having a average of seventy. Boys are having a average of sixty-three. You can see that three plus two means five unit is going to be dis distributed among this difference. What is this seventy minus sixty-three? Seven. So one unit will be how much? 1.2. Now here is two units, right? So 1.2 means 2.4 here. Okay. From 70, if you subtract 2.4, you will get middle value how much? 60. 1.4. It is actually not 1.2. Okay. So this is going to be 2.8. And when you will solve it, you will get 67.2, which is given in the option number D. Moving to next question number 11. This question, all the values are standard, so you just need to calculate it properly. If you will do it fast, you will get the answer fast here. <clears throat> See, sine square thirty, d sine thirty is one by two square will be one by four. So two into one by four will give you one by two. First number is one by two into tan sixty. We know this is actually root three minus. Three into cos sixty is how much? Cos square sixty degrees there. So cos sixty, we know that this is actually One uh, by two, so three into square will become one by four into secant square thirty. Secant square thirty is going to be four by three. The okay, two by root three square is four by three divided by cot forty five is one. So first number is four into one is four minus secant square sixty as uh, cos sixty is how much one by two. So secant square sixty will become two square means four. Sine square sixty will give you how much root three by two square means three by four. Plus cos square ninety is going to be how much? Cos square ninety is going to be zero. When you will solve it, this is four four gone. This four gone. This three gone. So how much I am getting? Uh, root three by two minus one. Okay. If you will take the LCM, so it will become root three minus two by two divided by three by four. 
this two will cancel four two times and two will come up. So two into root three minus two divided by three. It is going to be your value which is given in the option number three. Moving to next question. Here the question is saying that find the ratio of the average number of females to in all the five organization to the average number of males in all the five organization, right? So we have to get the average ratio of the average. If you see properly, average is what? Average is some some of the elements upon number of elements, right? So number of element, number of organization for males and females, they are saying same. So basically we have to get the average of the sums, right? So female by male, we have to get it. Female values, you will add it numbers, 300, 275, 250, 200 and 125. You add three and 200, you will get 500. You add 275, 125, you will get 400. And this is 250. So 900 plus 250, it is going to be 1150. Divided by, now if you see properly 115, this 46 is the only number which is going to divide 1150. 23 multiple, right? 23 is for uh, divide uh, is going to divide 46 also and 150. Still, let's find out the males also. 250, 225. So then 325, 275, 150. So 250 and 150, you will add, you will get how much? 400. Then when you will add this, uh, 325 and 225 and 325, you will get how much? 325, 550. Here 550 plus which number is missing? This 275 is missing. So we'll add it to 75. You will get, you're getting how much here? 7, 5, 2, 25, last two digits, 5, 4, 9, 2, 11, and 1, 12. Now, when you will cancel by 5, 5, 2, 5, 3, and then 5, 2, 10, 5, 4, and 9. Again, cancelable by 5, you will get 46, you will get 49 here. So the ratio is going to be 46 is to 49. Moving to next question, what this question is saying? We have seen this question in the first shift also. If a five digit number two, four, seven, X, Y is divisible by three, seven, 11, means the number is going to be divisible by LCM of these numbers. This, that is three, seven, 11. Three into seven is 21, 21 into 11 is 231. So basically we have to find a factor, Okay, whatever number will be there, that will be divisible by 231. So what we will assume, what we are assuming there, that this number 247, let's say 9 and 9, we will put it here. Okay. Whatever remainder will come, we will subtract it from this uh, number. Okay. That number will be completely divisible by 231 since we are dividing this number by 231. So one time 231, this is 6, this is 1, this 9, 0 will come, then other 9 will also carry. Then 7 times will go because 8 times is going to cross it. 7, 1, 7. 7 threes are 21 and 7 twos are 14 and 2 16. So this number is going to be 2. This is 82. So 82 extra is there. So from 2, 4, 7, 9, 9, we will reduce this 82. What we are going to get? We are going to get here 7 and we are going to get here 1. So your y value is 7 and x value is 1. 2 into 7 will give you 14 minus 8. 14 minus 8 into 1. It is eight. So this number is going to be six and that is going to be your answer also. Moving to next question. This question is saying that in a triangle ABC, AB is to AC is equal to five is to two. BC is given nine, centi nine centimeter. BA is produced to D and the angle bisector of CAD meets BC produced at E. So the question of looks like it's a question of angle bisector theorem. We will draw this triangle here. B A line is getting produced. So let's say this is B A and C here. Let's say produce it to D and bisector of angle C A D. It is meeting B C, right? So let's say I have produced it and here it is meeting. Okay, at which point? B C at E, right? So which angle is getting divided? This is angle exterior angle uh, C A D, right? Oh. Then AB is to AC is given how much? This is given 5 is to 2 ratio. BC is given 9 centimeter, right? So in exterior angle bisector theorem, we know that if I take the ratio of AB is to AC, right? 
a to a to b and a to c this is going to be b to e up then c to e b e is to c e b e is to c e a b upon a c is actually 5 by 2 this b e length we have to let's say take it x and c e length let's say Okay, B E length, uh, C E length, I will take X and B E length will become X plus 9. If you solve it further, okay, this side is 5X, this side is 2X, 5 into X, 5X, this is 2X. So 5 minus 2X is going to be 3X value. It is going to be 2 into 9, 18. So X is going to be 6 centimeter. Means which part? This part is going to be 6 centimeter. So that is going to be your answer also C E bar. Okay, moving to next question. This question number 15 again an expression based question sine 30 is how much half so 8 into half will give you 4 sine square 60 degree means 4 into 3 by 4 so this number first number is 3 minus 4 into sine 90 9 sine 90 is 1 so this is 4 minus secant square 45 degree sine uh, cos 45 is root 1 by root 2 so secant square 45 will become root 2 square means 2 divided by tan square 45 is 1 minus cot square 30 is uh, 3. Root 3 square means 3. If you see here, 3 uh, minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. 3 minus 6 is minus 3 here. And then 1 minus 3 is minus 2 here. The answer is going to be 3 by 2, which is given in the option number 1. Moving to next question number 16. The question is saying that in triangle ABC, D and E are the points on AB and AC. So we'll draw a triangle here, ABC, and we will take two points, D and E, here D and here E, such that angle ADE is equal to B. So this angle they are talking about equal, means lines are parallel, right? These are corresponding angles, right? So they are going to be parallel. If AD is equal to 7 centimeter, BD is equal to 5 centimeter, BC is equal to 9 centimeter, okay, they are asking for the DE, right? The, in this case, we get the similarity condition. So we can write down AD by AB completely. It will be equal to DE by BC, right? Triangles, the small triangle. Okay, we have, I have put a video of this similarity here. Okay, if you want to watch, you can see that also. So AD is 7, AB is 12, DE is unknown and BC is 9. 3 4s are 12, 3 3s are 9. So X is going to be 21 by 4. When you will solve it, you will get 5.25 centimeter, which is given in the option number 2. Moving to question number 17, what this question is saying. Let X be the number of the students whose weight is less than 50 kg and Y be the number of students whose weight is greater than or equal to 60 kg. What is the ratio of X is to Y? So you have to find out where are the 50 kg students. Okay. These are the weights. So less than 50 kg means 20 and 45 we will add it will be actually 65. This is X and Y be the number whose weight is greater than 60 kg. So six more than 60 kg, how much 40 and 45, 40 plus 5, Y is actually 45. What they are asking for this X is to Y. So when you will take the ratio 13, 5 to 65, 9, 5 to 45 ratio is 13 is to 9, which is given in the option number 3. Moving to next question, question is saying that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral diagonal BD and AC intersect at each other at E. So let's draw a circle. Okay, we'll draw a circle. And then we will join its diagonal. This is the circle. In this circle, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we have to draw the a, B, C, D part, a, a cyclic quadrilateral basically we will draw here, A, B, C and D. It's diagonal B, D and A, C. Diagonals are meeting somewhere, so join the diagonals also, each other at E point. Angle B, E, C is given, this angle is given how much? 138 degree, okay. Angle E, C, D, angle E, C and D is given how much? 35 degree. Then they are asking for the angle B, A, C. B, A and C. This angle they are asking. right? If you see properly this 35 degree angle right, 
is made by the arc ad this arc ad is making at c point so angle in the same segment are equal we can say that this angle is also going to be 35 degree now if you see this triangle properly this is actually an exterior angle and two angles are let's say this angle is x which is unknown in the question x plus 35 we can write down 138 when you will solve it you will get 35 subtracted from 138 you will get obviously 103 degree which is given in the option number one moving to next question what this question is saying the rate of simple interest for the first two years is 8% per annum for the next four years is 10% per annum and the time period beyond six years is 12% per annum. We know that uh, whenever we have to calculate the simple interest, basically rate and time, rate and time is going to be equivalent percentage. So first two years, 8% means first two years, how much is the equivalent rate? 16%. Next four years, right? Next four years is how much? 10%. So 10 into four, it is 40%. Okay. This is going to be 40%. This is years. 40% and beyond six years, it is 12%. So rate we have 12%. Okay. If a person get as in nine years, so two plus four is here, right? Six years. So three years more. So for next three years, it is going to be 12%. So equivalent rate will be actually 36, 12 into three, 36%. If a person gets this much amount, right? As a simple interest, they are talking about means 16%, 40%, 40%, 36% 40 value is given. How much money did he invest? Principal, they are asking. If you see here, 36 and 16, uh, 36 and 16 will give you 52 plus 40. It is 92% value is given how much? 18358.8 rupees. We have to calculate the 100 percent value. Numbers are close, so we have to do the calculation 18358.8 divided by 92 into 100. Okay, 100, 100 will be the principal amount. This is going to be principal. Now, if you see these numbers, if I remove this decimal one dot gone then how we can easily do it how we can do this one faster see 92 and 18358 if you do the calculation also i think first time 183588 is there okay divided by 92 first time two times will one time will go because 92 is crossing this value right 186 so one time will go it will become two and nine and this is one, this is nine, 91, 915 will obviously go for nine value, right? So nine to the 18, right? And then nine, nine, the 81 and one 82. When you subtract it, this is coming seven. This is becoming 10, 10 minus two is eight, 87 value, eight, seven, then three will come. So again, one, nine, nine. So first three digits is going to be one, nine, nine, which is uh, seen in visible in the option number one and that will be your answer for this question okay if you want to be very sure then you can do the calculation otherwise you can apply that digital sum also here the numbers are large so we can add the digit sum okay and we can check the options but if you will see the first three digits okay 199 by the division then also you can be very sure about the answer that first option is the right answer moving to next question what this question is saying what is the ratio of the total number of candidates enrolled in institute QRS, right? There are two pie chart have has been given. Total number of candidates first so pie chart is for out of 700. The total number of candidates pass the, this is for enrollment and this is the passing the examination. So this is first ratio, uh, question is asking for ratio of the total number of candidates enrolled in QRS. So Q is how much? 30%. R is how much? 12% and S is how much? 18%. 12 and 18 is 30. 30 means 60% of 7,500. This is first thing. So that number of candidates passed from the institute Q, R, S together, right? So Q, R and S passed in how much? Together how much? This is actually uh, 24, 24 is going to be 48, 48 plus 18. Right. So you will get 48 plus uh, how much? 18 will come 66% of this. How much value 
how much total candidates pass 4000 this one two zeros cancel we need to calculate it percentage will go this zero will cancel this one we can cancel two times this one will cancel three times and us uh, three will cancel 22 times right so i am getting 75 by 44 which is visible in the option number two the calculation is there nothing else moving to next question question number 21 the question is saying that the two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 8 first initially ratio is 5 is to 8 5 is added both numbers are getting increased by 5 okay and the numbers are becoming in the ratio 2 is to 3 2 is to 3 ratio right so if same quantities will get added will what we do we do we bring the different samples 5 minus 2 right it is 3 here 5 minus 3 it is 5 here so difference are different we will do what we will do here we will multiply the difference of 2 and 3 that is 1 and here we will multiply the difference of 5 and 8 that is 3 so this is 5 is to 8 and this number is going to be 6 is to 9 difference is how much one unit one unit is going to uh, is represented by 5 what the question is asking the sum of a and b so 8 and 5 total 13 unit will become obviously 13 into 5 which is actually 65 and which is given in the option number 2. Moving to question number 2, calculation board mass rule is there that we will do it. See here, 18 of 3 will be how much? You will say sir 54. 3 divided by 54, okay, so basically again 1 by 18 and into 6, 1 by 18 into 6 will give you 1 by 3 here first term minus. 6 divided by 18 first so 1 by 3 and into 22 so it will it is actually 22 by 3 this part is also over there 3 by 2 so plus minus actually this is minus 3 by 2 then plus 10 is there will add up this is a complete expression 9 into 3 is 27 3 divided by 27 will give you 1 by 9 and 1 by 9 into 1 will give you minus 1 you need to solve this one 20, minus 22 minus 3 will give you okay 3 by 2 is there so lcm okay 1 minus 22 okay see the first two terms 1 minus 22 will be minus 21 by 3 minus 21 by 3 is nothing but minus 7 10 minus 1 will give you 9 and minus 3 by 2 7 minus 9 is 2 minus 3 by 2 3 2 to the 4 minus 1 it is going to be 1 by 2 and which is visible in the option number 2 Moving to next question. Question is saying that eight, 18 persons working 8 hours a day can complete 3 units of work in 10 days. How many days are required by 25 persons to complete 5 units of work working 6 hours a day, right? So we know that M1, D1, T1 into E1, right, divided by W1, it is equals to M2, D2, T2, efficiency, E2, and then W2. So solve this one, 18 number of days, number of hours, eight, uh, three units work is there. So three unit here. Okay. And then 10 days, this side, how many days are required by 25 person? So days are, let's say D and complete five units of work means five here and working six hours a day is six here. We have to solve this one. This one, five, five job, 25, five will cancel two times. Uh, six will cancel it in three times. Three will be canceled, gone. So what is there? We are getting 8 and 2 are the remaining numbers. So 8 to the 16, which is there in the option number 4. Moving to question number 24. Question is saying that a 240 meter long train overtakes a man walking at 6 kilometer in the same direction. So overall, if it is same direction, okay. Um, let's say speed of the train is train speed is T. So when they are when they will move in the same direction, the relative speed will be nothing but T minus 6. Okay, this is getting uh, distance is how much 240 and this is getting the man is getting crossed in how many seconds nine seconds. So T minus six into nine is equals to 240. How much time it will take to pass a pass a 372 meter long tunnel. Okay, with the same speed. So T we have to basically calculate it. Okay, uh, we can write here. This is meter and this side we have taken. Second, T minus 6 is kilometer per hour. So 5 by 18, we will do it. This one will be canceled two times. When you will solve it, 5, this one will get canceled. How much times? 240 is there, 5, 4 is 20, and 48 into 2, 
is 96 96 plus 6 train speed is going to be 96 plus 6 100 how much time it will take to pass 372 meter right so we can convert uh, time will be nothing but distance 372 divided by speed is how much 100 2 meter per second right train speed this is in kilometer per hour so when i will calculate it 5 by 18 so 18 moving to next question let's see read this question what it is saying it's saying that a 240 meter long train overtakes a man walking at a at a speed of 6 kilometer per hour in same direction in 9 seconds so distance is 240 distance we know that this is equals to speed into time speed will be here okay relative speed same direction they are talking about so let's say t is the train speed minus 6 right this is in kilometer per hour so we'll convert it into 5 by 18 okay in order to bring into meter per second into time is how much 9 seconds when we will solve this value t minus 6 will going to be what 9 2 is 18 5 will cancel this one 48 times 48 into 2 96 so t is becoming how much 102 kilometer per hour now we have to cross what a tunnel which is 372 meter right so now that time they are asking so speed is same and time they are asking so distance is going to be addition of this value and this value when you will add it 372 and 242 last digit is 2 7 4 11 and then 3 2 5 1 6 divided by 102 kilometer per hour will divided by in 5 by 18 when i will see this one this value is coming how much six times clearly visible so 18 will come up 18 into 6 108 divided by 5 21 times is 105 three remaining means 21.6 kilo 21.6 second is going to be your answer for this question moving to next question question is saying that radha saves 25 percent of her income expenditure increases by 20 percent income increases by 29 percent then saving you can apply allegation here as well as you can use the value 100 here income 100 expenditure is 20 25 percent and save obviously savings will be okay savings is 25 percent okay so here savings are there which is 25 percent means 25 expenditure will be 75 expenditure increases by 20 percent means 7.5 7.5 two times means it is increased by uh 20 percent means 15 value right and income increases by 29 so you can see here increases how much 29 here increases 29 here increases 15 so obviously here increases how much 14 unit right so that's what they are asking that saving will increase by so 14 increase from 25 into 100 percent when you will solve it you will get 56 percent and that will be your answer for this question i hope you have understood the solution this is the second shift we have solved solutions okay we will continue this series in the next video and we'll see the uh, 3rd august 3rd shift paper if you want to get the pdf of this solution then i will share the link of the telegram channel from that telegram channel you will get the pdf also thank you everyone